According to our Tim McMahon and Adrian Wojnarowski, the Mavs, they are trading Chris Stapps Porzingis to oh. the Wizards for Spencer Dinwiddie and Davis Bertans. What do you think of that trade perk? Again, one more time, the Mavs are trading Chris Stapps Porzingis to the Wizards, Spencer Dinwiddie and Davis Bertans in return. Now Montrez, it makes sense. It makes sense, but you know what? I, I, I love it for Dallas. Um, I think getting Bertans is a huge pickup. Like, you, you're talking about when you think about a guy like Luka, you need spacing. And I'm just trying to see where Spencer Dinwiddie going to fit in at. This can't be the end. This can't be his landing spot because you got Jalen Bronson. So I'm trying to figure out where Spencer Dinwiddie going to fit in at. And, and Spencer to the Mavs, correct, right, Malika? That, yeah. That's correct. Well, that's exactly what we were talking about a week ago. What are the Mavs' needs? You've got Luka Doncic at the point guard position who's been holding it down and putting up super heroic efforts the last few weeks. We've all seen what he did when we were calling the game a, a couple weeks. It was it a week yeah. ago? It seems yeah. like forever ago. But the reality is Luka Doncic in the point guard uh, position, pick and roll, he's lethal, right? He can also score, he can get to the paint because he's about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, At the post, okay, the question was, you know, Przingis, you know, holding it down. Now he's gone. The wing was the area at the time that made sense for them to target, especially now knowing that most of the game moves to the perimeter. And the value that they're getting from Przingis, I know it was 19 points per game, but you're not per se, you know, married to that when you have to make a push for Luka as well. So I'm not surprised that, you know, Przingis is on the move. I'm actually glad that they're getting a running mate in Spencer Dinwiddie, who has had a rough stretch as of late, but he needs another shot creator and a shot maker so that when Spencer is playing his top game, he has someone to offload the ball to, and so defenses can't just triple team him once he, you know, crosses half court. Right, but to me, this seems like it's just a fire sale for the Wizards. How are you evaluating this, Tim Legler? I love this deal, absolutely, for the Mavericks. No question about it. Because you look at a guy like Chris Porzingis. I know he got nicknamed the Unicorn because, you know, he's so unique, but he's also the Unicorn because you hardly ever see him. He's, he, that's, that's the problem with Chris Porzingis. You know, he's a guy that's just – he's not consistently available. And then the biggest problem is – you know, when Luka Doncic was off the floor, mm. if this is your second best player, he can't initiate any offense for himself. He's not a guy that you can run an offense through for five or six minutes while Luka's over there getting some Gatorade. Spencer mm. Dinwiddie can do it. Now, Jalen Brunson's had a very good year, but Spencer Dinwiddie gives them that other dynamic scoring guard, and he showed you when he was in Brooklyn what he's capable of doing when he's got the ball and it's his show. And now they're going to have the ability to continue to manufacture offense while Luka is resting. They really could couldn't do that when he was off the floor. So I love this deal for Dallas. I think it was time that they moved on from Chris Tapps Porzingis, and he'll probably be more of the same in Washington, a guy that, you know, he's available here and there and tantalizes you with 7-3 and shooting ability, but really not somebody that's reliable enough to build around and build toward a championship with. Yeah, like, I just can't, I, I don't know, I can't agree with the, the Spencer Dewitty part. Like, when I, when I look at when Luka was out and the way that Jalen Bronson ran that team, it was phenomenal. And I, I just think that Spencer Dewitty to me is just not, I mean, he just hasn't looked the same since coming back off an of injury. But, but, you know, hey, I mean, you know, I feel like this is a fresh start for Porzingis. Uh, we know that him and Luka always didn't see eye to eye. You know, he thought that he was the man. Now he actually gets an opportunity to go elsewhere and show that he's capable. Especially without Brad, Bradley yeah, Beal based on, you know, the season-ending surgery.